Yo, what is up you guys? It's Gossip Dudes. Welcome back, bro, to Clash of Clans. Today we're checking out alternate attacks and we're going to look at some of the bases that they didn't three star. And guys, it's going to be kind of similar to the episode I did where um, I went into detail about why we don't three star. And this is the first time I'm going to be seeing these attacks, but maybe we can both look at this and see what went wrong in their attack that prevented them from getting the three star. And maybe we can learn something from these guys. So check it out. We got an 83%. Ah, it's a circle base. And just, just starting off in this video, I want to say that circle bases have been a bit annoying in Clash of Clans. I think these are the bases that you'll see a lot of people doing that are stopping players from getting a three star just because you have to switch up to a blimp and if you don't have super goblins in the blimp you're gonna have to waste a rage spell not really waste but I mean you're gonna have to use a rage spell on that blimp which takes away from your army so that could be a factor why people are going for these anti two star bases check it We've got a nice funnel going. Queen popped her ability. She took out two power weapons there. Royal Champion's working on the other side. So a nice funnel's been popped out already. Here we go. Lava Loon. Very nice. I think, you know, one problem may be that he, he was supposed to do the Lava Hounds first, right? That could have been it. Grand Warden's ability is going to be popped. Oh, but a lot of... Uh, oh, there we go. Look at that. Tornado Trap stops these balloons. And a few balloons go down. Still looking strong, though. Still looking strong. He did lose some balloons to Seeking Air Mines. And there's a Lava Hound that came out of the CC. Stopping the Dragon. He froze the air defense there. He doesn't have enough juice. There's just not enough juice. So that one's kind of tough. That one's kind of tough. I'd have to think about that. I, I'm thinking it may be just because of that balloon and the Tornado Trap prevented those other balloons from getting the Town Hall and lost a few of them because of that. But nonetheless... That is a great attack. And taking out the minion. So, 83% was what Valet got. Let's go for the next one. Check it, guys. It's another 83%. But let's see what happened here. This looks like an interesting base. Kind of looks like, uh, well, actually, no. There's definitely a base I haven't seen before. So it's going to be another Lava Hound and Balloon Attack. Lava Loon. Let's see here. We got the Queen Walk. King's going to go ahead and chip out the rest. Super Wall Breaker opens up the compartment there. Man, you guys, when you don't have Super Wall Breakers, it gets tough. I think Super Wall Breakers are definitely one of the best super troops all right so she pops the ability but what happened there i think one super wall breaker didn't open up the next wall here comes the stone slammer and the queen should die here she goes down. No rage spell wasted. No other rage spells were given to the queen. There's still two rage spells left over. So Town Hall's been taken out. Here comes the Tornado Trap. Pops the ability there. Gosh, guys hard to say this was you can tell this is a very calculated attack and the balloons are just getting hammered by that eagle artillery so I think I know what went wrong uh, 
what went wrong was the queen was not able to get to that eagle artillery. She went down, and that eagle artillery took out a lot of troops. Good try, though. 40 seconds left on the clock, and it's just be these two archer towers that are defending the whole base. I think that dragon could, if those two archer towers were gone, probably take the rest of the base out. Good, good attempt, though. Good attempt. All right, so that's the second attack. Let's see the next one. We've got JoJo 23 going in. This is interesting. It's a still another lava loon. There we go. Trying to chip out these storages there with those super goblins. Finally, we get goblins that are really good troops in the game. Super goblins. All right, so that's been chipped out. Let's see what's going to happen here. Is the queen going to bank left? She does. Oh no, she's going back over. Maybe that wasn't the plan, or maybe it was. If she gets stuck in there, that's going to be a problem. Okay, so there's going to be no... Um, healers. This queen's going to go down. Let's see, where is he going to go next? Is he going to go... Just chipping out. Chipping out the base. Take out that air defense. That's what he wanted. Alright. Troops are deployed. There goes the Lava Hound taking shots. Ooh, the queen takes out that lava hound pretty fast. And now she's working on the balloons. No one can stop that queen. Throws a skeleton trap on her. Very nice. All the expos are set to ground, so that helps. Oh, there's just not enough juice, guys. Not enough juice. You know, I think what could have been the problem was the uh, queen went... She banked right again and went back for those troops and didn't clear out enough buildings, which... Perhaps made him change his course of action there. Really difficult to say. Because I don't know what his initial plan was. But he got an 80% out of this attack. Still pretty nice. Very nicely done. So guys, there it is. I'm always looking at what could I improve. What went wrong. And then use that towards your advantage on the next attack figure out if it's just you know your deployment if it's just using your siege machine <laughs> at the right time it could be anything guys but always watch replays and figure out what you can improve so next video i'm just going to be focusing on farming and pushing we'll have to see but thank you guys so much for watching this is godson be sure to check me out on the next episode and i will see you there godson out